In this video, we will show you how to install and set up Tutor LMS, the popular WordPress e-learning plugin. Tutor LMS offers a free version and several paid plans. We will see how to install both of them. First, let's visit the Tutor LMS website and learn about its pricing. As you can see, this is the pricing page of Tutor LMS. Now there are annual and lifetime plans. The annual plan starts with the individual plan for a price of $199 a year. This gives you one site license and access to all the Tutor LMS features. Now there's also the business plan which gives you up to 10 site licenses and you get access to all the features. And finally, there's the agency plan that gives you unlimited site licenses. You can also get the lifetime plans, which are just one-time payments. Okay. So once you purchase your Tutor LMS, you can download it from your Tutor LMS account. Now we have created an experimental WordPress website. As you can see, this is the default theme and we have a completely new website. So now what we are going to do is, first of all, we are going to install the free version of Tutor LMS because in order to use Tutor LMS Pro, we have to first install Tutor LMS free. So we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add plugin and now we're going to search for tutor lms and here's the plugin tutor lms e-learning and online course solution now as you can see it has over 100,000 active installations and it's compatible with our current version of wordpress so we're going to click on the install now button and wait for the plugin to install all right the plugin has been installed now let's click on the activate button as soon as tutor lms is activated it's going to launch this setup wizard and this is going to help you get started with Tutor LMS. So we're going to click on Let's Start button. And then it's going to ask you what kind of e-learning site or online education site you want to create. If you want to start as an independent educator or online course creator where you create your own courses and sell your courses on your WordPress e-learning site, you can choose this plan. But if you plan on creating a marketplace, so there will be multiple course creators on your site creating different kinds of courses, you can choose this marketplace. So for this tutorial, we're going to choose the marketplace. Now we're going to click on the next button. In the next part, you are going to go through course, instructor and currency. So all these three steps. First of all, the course. What will be your course permalink? So normally the name of your site will be added, then your courses page, then the name of your course, and then finally the permalink, which is courses and then sample lesson. So you can choose your permalink over here. By default, it's courses and we're going to go with it. There's also the lesson permalink. So it's set to lesson and we're going to go with these default options. If you want question and answers or a Q&A section for your course, you can enable it from here. By default, it will be enabled and I suggest you keep it enabled. It's a really nice feature to have. Then you can choose courses per row, how you want to display your courses. If you want to display a single course in a single row, if you want to display two courses in a single row, or if you want to display three courses in a single row, it's up to you. You can also choose four courses in a single row. But we're going with the default selection of three courses per row and how many courses you want to display per page. So by default, there will be 12 and you can change this however you want. Okay, we're going to click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Next, the instructor. In the beginning of the setup, we were asked what kind of site we want to create and we selected marketplace. So our site is going to have multiple instructors and normally you want to share your revenue with your instructors. This allows you to share the revenue with course creators. So you can have this enabled. And again, there's the sharing percentage. So how much you want to share. So by default, it's set to 20% to admin or owner and 80% to instructor. So as a site owner, you'll get 20% and the instructor gets the 80%. You can tweak this however you want, but of course we are going with the default settings. Next, you can choose the payment withdrawal method. By default, you will have these three options, bank transfer, e-check, and PayPal. Now with the free version of Tutor LMS, you get all these options, but if you get Tutor LMS Pro, you get access to a lot more payment gateways. Again, Tutor LMS has its own native system. So we're going to click on the next button, and here you can set the currency symbol, and you can also choose the symbol position so by default it will be set to left so we're going to click on finish setup and we are done tutor lms is already installed on your wordpress e-learning site now if you scroll down here in the welcome screen you can see what are the features of tutor lms you get the drag and drop course builder you get the native e-commerce system you get subscriptions and memberships advanced analytics 
you also get AI Studio and a lot of options to design your site. Now, of course, if you get Tutor LMS Pro, you get access to some of the most advanced features. So let me set up Tutor LMS Pro and show you how it's done. So we're going to go to plugins and click on add plugin. And if you have purchased Tutor LMS Pro, you can download it from your Tutor LMS dashboard and then click on upload plugin button from here and click on choose file and upload that file over here. All right, we have uploaded our Tutor LMS Pro. Now we're going to click on the install now button and wait for Tutor LMS Pro to install. All right, Tutor LMS Pro has been installed. Now let's click on activate plugin. Great, Tutor LMS Pro has been installed and activated. Now, as you can see, there's a notification banner over here. It's asking you to connect your license key. So unless you add in your license key, you won't have access to the premium features and updates and support. So we're going to click on this connect now button as it's conveniently placed over here. And it's going to take you to TRLMS settings and in the license tab, okay? So in case you don't see this banner, you can go to TRLMS, click on settings and click on license and then add in your license key. So we're going to add in our license key. After that, we are going to click on verify license button. Now this is going to start the verification and then it's going to take you to this page. Now this is the Tutor LMS website and if you're not already signed in, then you have to sign in using your username and password. And after that, you have to verify your license key from your Tutor LMS account. So we're going to skip ahead and verify our license key. All right, our license is activated. So that is how you can add in your license key and activate your Tutor LMS Pro. Now, if we head over to the add-on section, you can see you have access to so many new features. So let's take a look at some of these. Course Bundle. This add-on allows you to bundle or group multiple courses and sell them together. Subscriptions. You can enable the native subscription features for recurring revenue. You get access to the content bank. So you can create course contents once and use those on multiple courses. Social login, the content rip feature. With it, you can control how students can access the course content. The multi instructors, assignments, course preview, course attachments, online live classes with Google Meet, reports, emails, calendars, notifications, and so many more features. You get all of these with Tutor LMS Pro plus more. After you get Tutor LMS, you also should get a new theme. Currently, we're using the default 2025 theme, so you have to get a proper LMS or e-learning theme. So if we hover mouse over Tutor LMS and go to themes, Tutor LMS does provide some theme that you can use. There's the Work Academy, so this is a theme that you can use. There's Well Thrive, Pathwise, if we scroll down, there's the Skillet, and Beat Lab. So these themes you can use just by clicking on the Import button. Again. You can go to appearance and click on themes and then click on add theme and then search for LMS themes. We're going to search for a tutor LMS theme called tutor starter. This is a theme that you can use for your tutor LMS site. You can see that it has a good ratings. You can install it and get started with it. So once you have your theme and Tutor LMS Pro ready, you are ready to start your e-learning journey by adding different courses to your e-learning site. Now, if you need help in how to create courses in Tutor LMS, how you can create quizzes, add assignments, create certificate for your courses, and any other tutorials on these topics, you can check out our tutorials. You can find it in the video description. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's video. We hope that you now know how you can set up Tutor LMS and get started with your e-learning journey. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful content such as this one. Thank you for watching. See you next time.